Hello everyone. So today let us uh, do something interesting with the uh, Jira, Jira Cloud's automation rules. And automation rules, I've done a lot of videos on automation rules and uh, of course, you know, when you come from a script runner's background, you might find it a bit limiting, but you can still do quite a lot. And today I actually want to talk about and uh, show you as well one one very interesting use case where uh, you may want to create uh, some stories or tasks under an epic and uh, whenever you do that of course uh, i mean i think i've shown this in uh, like on my channel before if you by the way if you're not really sure where to find my 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 previous videos you can go to my website and if you go to video section on top or maybe if you can click on courses just go to mastering jira cloud automation and uh, here i have uh, if you search for create here on the page you will definitely find a lot of issues or not issues but not a lot, a lot of uh, videos like create uh, uh, i believe uh, epics with stories so basically i have covered this before but i'll do that uh, again but in this video i just want to talk about or i mostly want to talk about uh, a situation where you want to create a stories under an epic but you only want to do it once, right? Or maybe let, let us forget about creating stories under epics. Let us say you want you have an automation rule where the rule is uh, creating three or four tasks, but you don't really want to do it uh, uh, like all the time. Just give me a second. Apologies for that. Okay, so uh, let us do that. So uh, what I will do, I will probably create or not create, but let us say if I have a project here, uh, maybe I'll use here uh, company managed uh, scrum project, right? So this is a project and uh, in this project, let us say uh, we have uh, this epic, if we create an epic on top uh, and uh, let us say this is my epic and uh, epic is this one and the moment I create a new epic, oh, I need to enter the summary, fine, I'll do that. So the requirement is that whenever there is a new epic, in our project and the moment this epic is moved to in progress we of, of course it could be any straight but the moment it moves to in progress we want to create three tasks or stories under it right so uh, this is a requirement and of course we can go back to the previous state because the workflow allows for it and uh, we don't really want to create those tasks again so let us do that and for doing this uh, you can go to your system and then if you go to global automation rules you can of course now create a new rule here and uh, uh, and this is something that and by the way the interface is now different i know uh, if you have been watching my videos i'm sure you know that uh, at last and change the interface i mean this is probably better uh, i mean i find it a bit better because it has like a proper flow or a workflow kind of not a workflow but a flowchart kind of a feel okay so we want to do this automation when we move from open to in progress and next and then you want to add a new action and the action is that you want to create a new uh, issue right but before we create a new issue let us uh, what we want to do uh, shall we do it right now or maybe later okay let us let us do it right now let us say we want to create three tasks and we know that for those three tasks the summary will contain a specific text right so let us say you can add a, i mean you, you can actually add a like like add a condition here like if and you can say here that uh, add uh, like you, you can actually add a condition here that uh, uh, jql because we want to basically search for uh, the jql here and what i will do is i will basically write a simple jql and what i can do is i can write summary is like uh, task one or uh, summary like task two right so this is my um, my my like I'm, it, it may not be the most ac like accurate way but it works and you can actually use another field if you want you can set a field but i i mean we don't really want to cover each and every use case or we, we don't really want to i mean we can make it foolproof but this will work in most cases right so if you add a, a add a jql here i mean this jql is definitely valid you can then say that okay uh what exactly are we trying to check we are trying to check here uh none of the conditions should match so not really all so i think i am trying to find here this thing i mean 
where is the option here let me just copy this uh, there was it's a sometimes when you, when you use a new interface the uh, basically I want to negate this right I basically want to not create the the uh, the the f issues when uh, this uh, doesn't match I mean basically there shouldn't be any issues matching this uh, JQL so let me just do it one more time and uh, let us see so I wanted to add a new if condition and uh, yeah this is fine and then JQL let me add a new let me add my if I want to negate this uh, come on where is that option to negate this sometimes it is uh, really annoying okay let me do it one more time add okay and add a condition yeah because I want to add a condition here fine and uh, JQL condition it is a JQL or oh, no it's not JQL I think it's probably uh, related, related issue so basically if you're trying to do this under an epic then you can use related issue I'm, I'm JQL uh, will also work because you can just use if and else because the use case was that I want to do it for stories or issues under the epic so I can do here stories or issues under, under this epic and none match the specified JQL so I can add the uh, JQL here next and then you can add a and then of course you can add a component like uh, create the issues so let us create a new uh, issue here and I want to select here create a, create a new issue and same project and I want to probably create uh, uh, a story let us select here story I'm sure we have story here in the list somewhere <coughs> yeah we have story and uh, you need to specify here the parent <coughs> because you want to set the parent as well and uh, let us say the summary okay I think uh, the okay task one and task two so task one and I want to basically do this thing here like I think you can do trigger issue let me just check okay we have this uh, trigger issue dot summary okay trigger issue dot summary and it is of course a smart variable that you can use and uh, you can say here task one right and this is of, of course something that you can always you know uh, change but this will help for your I mean basically we are appending the epix name here and what we may also want to do we of course want to set the parent so this is done let me just create a copy of this and next time we want to do it for task 2 and uh, click on the next button and turn on the rule I think it should should be okay I mean usually I create stories under an epic right and turn on the rule and when you turn on the rule uh, I think you're done you can just go back to your issue I think this is the epic and uh, what will of course happen is when you when we move it to in progress it will of course you know do something hopefully and uh, I'm sure the rule is running if you do a refresh it, this will of course we have like one one epic oh sorry not epic but uh, one uh, story and now we have two stories right this is great now this is of course not nothing you know there's no rocket science it's simple it works but let me just go back to the start progress like open and let us just try to like run the rule again and usually in my rules I add the messages like a uh, log messages that okay this time rule didn't run uh, and you can do that I mean I've made videos so if you ref if you do a refresh basically if you make a transition again uh, the rule should not create more task so this is how you can I mean this is just one of the way and uh, um, again it you, ideally you should be checking like for a field but setting a field uh, is I mean you can do that as long as you have like understanding on what field to update uh, and uh, in this case of course even if you're doing this like manually like I mean by writing your own script on Jira data center or maybe using script now for Jira you can still check right I mean the idea here is that we need to check <coughs> that these issues are already there or not <coughs> and I think uh, checking for the summary it works uh, and this is how <coughs> I think uh, you can also do it if you have any better suggestions of course you know let me know in the comment box but uh, but yeah I wanted to show you how you can solve this problem and that is it that is all that is all I wanted to talk about in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video 
and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye